हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज नेहा वेलकम टू एके एकेडमी इन द लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव टॉक्ट अबाउट वर्नर्स थियरी द प्राइमरी वैलेंसी सेकेंडरी वैलेंसी सिडविक्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक थियरी इलेक्ट्रो न्यूट्रिलिटी प्रिंसिपल इन दिस पर्टिकुलर वीडियो वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ लिगैंड एंड टू एक्सेस द एंटायर कोर्स प्लीज विजिट ए के अकेडमी डॉट इन सो क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ लिगैंड लिगैंड आर मेनली क्लासिफाइड ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ डेंटिसिटी ना वट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ डेंटिसिटी डेंटिसिटी मीन्स द नंबर ऑफ अटैचमेंट दैट अ डोनर आइटम ऑफ अ ऑफ अ गिवन लिगैंड हैज टूवर्ड्स द मेटल इज एक्चुअली अ डेंटिसिटी सो ऑन द बेस ऑफ डेंटिसिटी द लिगैंड आर क्लासिफाइड इन टू टू टाइप्स दैट इज मोनोडेंटेड लिगैंड एंड पॉलीडेंटेड लिगैंड मोनो मोनोडेंटेड लिगैंड एज द वर्ड सजेस्ट मोनो मीन्स वन अ लिगैंड विच हैज गॉट ओनली वन पॉइंट ऑफ अटैचमेंट ओनली वन साइट ऑफ अटैचमेंट टू द मेटल इज अ मोनोडेंटेड लिगैंड नाउ द मोनोडेंटेड लिगैंड इट कुड भी निगेटिवली चार्ज इट कुड भी पॉजिटिवली चार्ज इट कुड भी न्यूट्रल बट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वर्स आर दी निगेटिवली चार्ज एंड न्यूट्रल लिगैंड नाउ अंडर निगेटिवली चार्ज लिगैंड वी हैव गॉट दी हाईलाइट्स आई विल डिस्कसिंग दी मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट वर्स इन द बिगिनिंग Uh, that the halides like fluoride chloride iodide bromide then hydroxo cyano uh, peroxo that o2 2 minus is peroxo o2 uh, minus is superoxo and uh, if suppose we have got just o2 minus it is called oxo then cno is cyanito uh, clo3 is chloreto uh, scn minus is thiocyanito no2 minus is nitro then n3 minus is nitrido then h minus is hydrido uh, then so4 2 minus is sulfato but so4 sorry so3 2 minus is sulfito uh, then co3 2 minus is carbonato these are some of the very very important uh, monodentate ligand and we are going to use them uh, when we when we'll be discussing about the iupac of coordination compound Uh, then uh, regarding uh, neutral ligands neutral monodentate ligands the most important ones are ammonia uh, which uh, are uh, regarded as like uh, differently named as amine uh, then um, h2o which is differently uh, like uh, referred as aqua then carbonyl uh, then nitrosyl thiocarbonyl thio nitrosyl and the last uh, and uh, pyridine there are many actually but the most important ones i have written which are mainly used uh, so this are uh, this was about the monodentate ligand next i'll be talking about polydentate ligand polydentate means what these ligands have got more than one sides uh, of attachment to the metal and uh, so uh, uh, among polydentate ligand the very first one is bidentate ligand bidentate ligand as the name suggests it has got two sides of attachment to the metal the bidentate ligand could be symmetrical uh, ligand or it could be unsymmetrical ligand symmetrical ligand in uh, are the ligands in which two atoms bident means two right so the two atoms if both the donor atoms are same then we call call them as symmetrical ligands in case of unsymmetrical uh, unsymmetrical ligands if suppose the two uh, donor atoms are different then we name them as unsymmetrical ligands so the thing is at the very first one you can see uh, oxalato um, that is c2o42 minus and since the donor atoms uh, both the donor atoms are same this is an example of symmetrical ligand then uh, nh2chg uh, co minus uh, this is actually uh, glycinato then uh, the very famous ethylene diamine the, so you, you can see there are two uh, uh, points of attachment or two sides of attachment uh, so this was about the bidentate ligand next one is tridentate ligand so the thing is that um, tridentate ligands mean it has got three sides of attachment if you see that is a diethylene triamine um, so in case of diethylene triamine you can see this is one uh, this is second and this is third one so there are three uh, sides of attachment then we have tetradentate ligand tetradentate means four sides of attachment it will have to the metal uh, that is triethylene tetraamine uh, look at this one this one third and the fourth so it has got four sides of attachment uh, towards the metal then we have got pentadentate ligand pentadentate ligand uh, we have got five sides of attachment to the metal uh, you can see this one then this one so this is how it has got five sides of attachment to the metal then lastly we have got hexadentate ligand and it has got six sides of attachment to the metal uh, look at this this the, uh, the four uh, the very famous name edta that is ethylene uh, diamine tetraacetic acid uh, these the four oxygen and the two nitrogen so all together there are six um, sides of attachment it has got so it it comes under hexadentate ligand now uh, so this this classification of ligand was on the basis of denticity now the next classification is on the basis of uh, presence of active uh, donor atom present like for example active donor atom present means
so on the basis of active donor atoms present these ligands are mainly classified into ambidentic ligand and flexidentic ligand now what are ambidentic ligands ambidentic ligands are the type of monodentic ligands only but they have got more uh, more than one or other ways they have got basically like, suppose we take example of no2 so no2 how does it look it looks like this so here the donor atom could be nitrogen also and it could be oxygen also uh, but at like at a time at a time only one atom acts as a donor atom so uh, so in some of the cases the nitrogen uh, that is nitro group may be attached to the metal by me, uh, via nitrogen in some of the cases it could be attached via oxygen and there are many example of uh, examples of ambidentic ligand like next we will be discussing about flexidentic ligand now what are flex flexidentic ligand so these are the ligands which also uh, have got more uh, like two or more donor atoms present in a given ligand but if suppose uh, the thing is that if suppose only one donor atom gets attached to the metal then it forms a non chelated complex but if suppose two or more than two donor atoms gets attached to the metal then they form chelated complex like for example example is hydrazine if suppose only one site of attachment it has got then it forms a non chelated ligand uh, so it it forms a non chelated complex but if suppose both the donor atoms are getting attached to the metal then then it forms a chelated complex now here in this case if you see it is forming a uh, three membered ring three mem uh, and usually three and four membered rings are not that stable but uh, in case of like edta uh, which which sometimes sometimes behaves like a uh, in some of the complex it behaves hexadentate so sometimes it behaves pentadentate so uh, so there are uh, ligands like uh, flexidentic ligand which do form stable uh, rings also so that was about the flexidentic ligand there are uh, there are bridging ligands also bridging ligands are the ligands in which uh, uh, a given ligand donates the uh, electron pair to more than one atom then there are macrocyclic ligands also we know that chlorophyll vitamin vitamin b12 hemoglobin uh, the the large um, tetradentate uh, macrocyclic ligands are they form really kind of stable complexes in uh, in comparison to the uh, analogous uh, uh, like ligands have, which have got same number of donor atoms same number of atoms uh, which is called as macrocyclic effect uh, actually so this was about the types of uh, ligands or the classification of ligands Uh, there are there are two types of uh, complexes like homoleptic complex and heteroleptic complexes also homoleptic complexes are the complexes in which all the ligand only one type of ligand is, att uh, is attached to the metal like for example suppose suppose there is a metal and to which only carbonyl is attached only one type of uh, ligand is attached we call it as homoleptic complex but if suppose if suppose more than one more than one type of uh, ligands are attached to the metal then we call such complexes are heteroleptic complexes so this was these two videos were about like basics of uh, coordination chemistry in the um, in the further videos i'll be discussing about cft which is actually the main part cft uh, and mot and then the uh, reaction uh, the redox uh, reaction mechanisms and the stability of coordination complex if you like the video like comment share and subscribe the channel and don't forget to press the bell icon thank you